You want the 411? It's just the heck guy. You want to know about the brim? It's just the heck guy. You want the 411? It's just the heck guy. Hey, it's just the heck guy. Hey, what's happening there, folks? G the Hat Guy here. Uh, that's like my uh, intro, my little theme song that I came up with there. It's a little something, something, you know. I like music, so I figured I'd come up with something. So uh, thank you for stopping by the channel. Uh, you know, uh, if, you, uh, if you're here for the first time, go ahead and, uh, you know, hopefully you learn something. You know, if you're looking at getting into hats or you're already into hats or you want to know more about hats, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got great, awesome content coming your way. Uh, I'm going to be getting on the road here pretty soon and sharing a lot of hat fun, hat entertainment information. Uh, hit the notification bell so that way you're notified as soon as I post some content. You see the question of the day here. It says, what kind of brim is you? So as the video title suggests, it says, uh, wide brims versus short brims so let me know in the comment section what kind of brims are you into sizes you into you know wide brims or into shorter brims you know kind of like stingy brims or medium sized brims you know let me know in the comment section let's get a conversation going there okay uh if you know anybody else who might be into this kind of content go ahead and share the video with them on instagram is g the hat guy okay also on tiktok is g the hat guy so check me out follow me on there got content coming for you uh, so stay tuned so let's dive right into it so this one i have right in front of me this is the uh it's got the uh open road type design there uh the dents on it you know the cataman's crease and uh, this one, you know, it's a, it's a black fur felt is what this is here. And, uh, you know, I can tell by now being in the business for so long, you know, uh, what is wool and, 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 and you know, uh, what kind of material it is, if it's wool or fur felt, you know, etc. Uh, this one has got the edge binding, you know, on there. Okay, so this one is about a uh, two and a half inch uh, uh wide brim hat is what this one is here okay and uh it's about a two and a half inch it's got the edge uh binding with the ribbon there and it's got the uh the thin vintage country style band on there traditional you know what now with the cattleman's crease open road style whatnot okay uh so i'll show you the next hat here now this one is uh uh, with this particular brim, it's a uh, wider brim. This one is actually wool. I don't know if you can tell or whatnot, but it's a little bit of a finer finished wool. It's not your your uh, uh, your thicker style wool, you know, whatnot. Uh, it's got a little bit of a finer finish on there. Same thing, it's got the thin ribbon, you know, vintage style band with a vintage nail on there. It's got the ears binding right there. This one is more of a uh, three inch uh, wide. Uh, brim on this one here it's got the uh two pinches in the front there got a teardrop top on that one you know very nice white brim there you see that y'all bear with me i'm not using no fancy equipment you know just you know uh you know using what i got you know as far as recording this video so i'm doing that with one hand and i'm trying to handle the hats with another hand so uh yeah just using what i got to make it happen for y'all so uh, the next one that I have here, one second, let me get that here, is uh, is this one here. Uh, this is about another medium sized uh, brim. This is about a two, I say about a two, mm, yeah, I say about two, about two inches and uh, uh, close to about two and a half, I see on this one as well on this brim size here, and this is this is wool, but it's got more of a uh, uh, a different kind of finish. It's almost similar, kind of looking like a velour type finish, but even though it's a wool uh, wool fedora hat, you know, it's got the center dent, two pinches in the front there, and this one. Okay, see that one right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then we can move to uh the next one that I have for you here, so bear with me here. Again I'm shooting the video and 
you know, doing all kinds of multitasking here with one hand and trying to handle the hats with the other hand. So yeah, you see this one. Let me get this one here one second. Bear with me here. Let's see what we got on this one here. Um, yeah, this one. It's a... Uh, yeah, this one is a black wool. A little bit of a fine and finished wool as well on this one. It's got the vintage nail on the side there. It's got the teardrop top. Two pinches in the front. Okay, on that one. Check that out. This one is about a two and a quarter inch. Yeah, about two and a quarter inch uh, uh, brim size on this one here. Check to you. Two and a quarter inch brim size on that. You know, uh, yeah, I got the teardrop top right there. And very sharp uh, front on that one. Mm -hmm. So a little bit smaller than uh, the other two uh, hats that were looked at there. And then when you're talking about a, uh, a short, a short, short brim, I've got something like this here, which is, you know, stingy. You know, this is only about an inch about an inch um yeah about an inch wide bring on this one here this is in the light denim with speckles it's got the specks in there got a center dent you know two pinches in the front okay yeah this hat was actually uh modeled after the hat that uh, was worn in the movie rocky okay and uh yeah so yeah, this is a night comes in a leather too uh, from this particular manufacturer, whatnot. Uh, yeah, and it's got the center dent, two pinches in the front there, and uh, yeah. So this more of a stingy, like I said, you know, about an inch, you know, uh, wide brim, you know, just just a curl on there. You know, this one is really really small, you know, and that one. So I mean, there's uh you know, advantages and disadvantages, you know, I mean, depending on what people are into, you know, the wider brims, obviously, you know, a lot of the trend is very high right now, okay, uh, with some of the burnt uh, wide brims that you see on social media that run about four to five inch wide brims, um, so there's a lot of wide brim trends going on, you see them, they burn the hats and they put the wild feathers on them and, you know, all kinds of stuff, they're, they're working magic tricks on them and, whatever else they put the cars on the side that kind of thing the playing cars on the side you know kind of burnt a little bit for uh to give it again that that vintage kind of look there's a lot of that that's been going on for the last uh at least about six years or so now so um yeah i've been in the business about seven years the last seven years or so you know yeah going going on about eight years now seven and a half years or so there's a lot more folks that know a lot more about hats than I do, you know, but I, I do have a lot of knowledge, you know, I've dealt with manufacturers, you know, I've uh, been in business, I make hats as well, you know, I clean hats, stretch them, I do all kinds of stuff with hats, you know, so, um, but, uh, yeah, so it's just based on personal preference, some people like the stingy type brims, when I started wearing hats personally, I started out wearing the, the wool stingy short brims, kind of like that that denim right there, the really short, maybe about one inch, you know, one and a half, and then I started doing uh, maybe one, three quarters, you know, one and a half, yeah, somewhere around there. The shorter brim hats is what I was really into, you know, and it was mostly wool, and I like, I love my wool hats, and I had somebody tell me, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, once I start wearing fur fell hats, you know, I'm never going to go back, and it was right, once I got my first fur fell hat, I was kind of addicted, you know, but I should have a lot of my wool stuff as well. I wear a lot of wool berets and that kind of stuff. Wool, newsboys, and spitfires. I'm a huge uh, cap fan, too. I have a cap collection, you know, so I wear the IV caps, the spitfires, newsboys, European-style newsboys, you know, all kind of Italian caps, all kinds of stuff. I'm the hat guy. You know, I got to, you know what I mean? So, um... But yeah, so it just depends on personal re preference as far as what size brim. Some people, they love wide brims. They love the four inch wide brims, five inch wide brims, or maybe three inch. That's a, that's a regular for them, you know. 
um, and they won't do the short brims, you know. I'm more of a medium slash wide brim, you know, I go I go about three inches, you know, uh, I might go four inches as well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to step it up as much, you know, the, typically that's something that I wasn't even trying to get into before, but uh, yeah, I can go as far as maybe about a four inch brim, you know, whatnot, uh, and with a wider brim, you know, especially during the summertime, you know, for uh, prevents, you know, the UV rays and, you know, the sun from getting into your eyes and that kind of stuff, you know. So that's for protection as well as far as the wider brim design compared to like a shorter brim, whatnot. Uh, but you have lots of folks that like the shorter brims too. And uh, something that really cracks me up is when I see a big guy or somebody that has a big head or like a chubby cheeks and kind of like a you know, a big face, that kind of thing, a thick neck, and they're wearing like a tiny little stingy um, brim hat, you know, something that's got a short brim, uh, that's about, uh, what is it, one inch uh, brim, you know, they're wearing that, you know, that kind of, I kind of wonder about that, that looks funny on them, you know, I'm wondering a big guy, you're supposed to be wearing, you know, something that, uh, or, you know, if, if that's your, you, I guess maybe you don't have to be necessarily big, but that's the way, again, you based on your looks, you know, you've got a, a wider face, you know, that kind of thing, thick neck, that, you know, you should be wearing like a wider brim hat as opposed to wearing something that's about an inch uh, with an inch brim. It kind of looks funny, so, but yeah, you see, you see that out there too. So, again, just based on personal preference, some people love their little, you know, one inch, uh, one and a quarter inch brims and some people like the, you know, three inches and up or, or the medium, uh, which is really, really popular is about two inch brim, two and a quarter inch. Yeah, that's a medium size brim that a lot of people like to wear as well. So again, if you've learned something from this video, you've been entertained, educated about something, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Got more awesome content coming your way. Like, share, comment with somebody else. Uh, you can share the video with somebody else who's kind of new to hats or trying to get into hats or you think might enjoy this content. Again, it's G the Hat Guy. I appreciate you supporting me. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Got great stuff coming. Uh, Going to be getting on the road. Okay. Again, so I'm kind of out here. Uh, like, share, comment, and thumbs up. Until the next video, I'll see you again. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye.